right. Now, a sign of the times, a former prison inmates consulting business thriving. What's his business? Consulting prisoners to be on the do's and don'ts of prison life. He's Larry Levine, and he runs something called WallStreetPrisonConsultants.com. Um, Larry, welcome. Well, thank you. Glad to be here with you. Um, you would scare me, Larry. Uh, so I would I take scare it, a lot of people. I've I, been with my girlfriend for over a year. I scare her. Still. <laughs> so you would scare me with the advice you're giving. But obviously, a lot of these white collar criminals to be, or those who are on the way to the big house, seek you out for advice. What do you tell them? I tell them uh, that they should be scared. They should be concerned. That prison's a dangerous place, and you got to really know your stuff when you go in there. And if you walk in there not knowing what's going on, that you're going to get into a wreck. You're going to get into a jam. Not All right, like what? Give me some do's and don'ts. I'm, I'm on my way to the big house. I, I only paid, let's say, 98% of my income to taxes. What are you going to advise me to do? I'm going to advise you to go in and show respect. Show respect to everybody. Be extra polite. Be extra courteous. Don't get into confrontations with people. Make sure before you go in that you have all your medical records in order. Make sure you Jeez. have your finance in order. Most importantly, make sure that all your legal documents are in order before you go in. Because the Justice Department's going to try to screw you and tell you your paperwork's not done right. And they're going to try to prohibit you from going into different programs. They're going to try to keep you actually in custody longer than you have to go in. All right, but, but when like you go Madoff, in there, you can't have an attitude, and, and, and I understand that white-collar criminals particularly are zeroed in on because they're just hated in the big house. Is that right? Well, people hate them because well, the majority of the people inside are lower income, middle income people, and the rich people that go in, they blame them for their own problems, that they rip people off, they rip their parents off, they cause the economy to go down. So everybody's pointing the finger at them. They're among some of the most hated people, really the most hated are child molesters or kiddie porn people, but the white collar people are right up there along with them. No All right, one but, likes but them. Now, no one wants to have them. Most of these guys are afraid of the type of people they'll confront. And they're, uh, I'm looking at you, and if I went into, you're a handsome young man, I might point out, but nevertheless, if I ran into you in prison, you'd scare the bejesus out of me. How should I act? What should I do? Should I just act naturally and just say, hey, Larry, how you doing? Um, well, what you ought to do is mind your own business. Do your time. Don't do someone else's time. You follow gotcha. what I'm saying? Gotcha. Gotcha. You, you, don't, you don't need to get into a wreck. You don't need to get into a jam. Madoff's going to have all kinds of problems. Everybody's going to right. have a preconceived notion. They're going to hate him before he goes in. What he needs to do is find one or two people who will be his friends, yeah. if he has any friends. Really? Hang out with them. But what Don't if, be what if, So if they're watching one thing on television, let's say they're watching CNN, and I were in there, not that I ever want to be, and I wanted to switch to Fox Business Network to remind them, hey, if you don't have this, you should demand this. What are they going to do to me if I switch the channel? Well, first of all, there's different TVs. You have TVs for the black inmates, for the white inmates, for the Hispanics. You run with your own people. And if you go and change the channel, you're getting out of bounds. Someone's going to pick a chair up, and they're going <laughs> to smash you over the head with the chair. Oh, man. I mean, literally. Gotcha. I have seen people, I have seen people cut in line to use the telephone. And these new people coming in, they don't know this, where someone will take the handset. It's a short, it's like an armored cord, right. like on a payphone, and it's a short cord. And they'll take that cord, and they'll just take the handset of the phone. Right. I mean, All somebody right. might right. smash Say Matt no off in the face, and he's... He's, he's not going to get down to work he's when done. he goes in. Yeah, he's not going to certainly. Want. You know what, Larry? I do the same thing. And, if I see I, I anyone here inf... watching CNBC, I do the same damn thing. Larry, you're a great I, guest. I've got no, I don't. I've got I, some I, advice, though, for no, Bernie no, no, when he goes advice, in. No, don't advice, because you're scaring me. See this okay. here? Oh, well, this is a rubber it. glove. Okay. He now needs to get used to this, because they're going to go in deep. I beg you to stop, Real deep. I beg you. Stop. That's right. what's going to happen to him. I got you. Got you, Larry. Obviously, our director isn't thinking nearly as quickly as I am. Larry, thank you very much.